Machine learning undeniably has become a big part of modern society in many different areas. You might even find it surprising where you can find machine learning to be part of. Therefore, we will talk about some of the many applications of machine learning that already are part of our everyday lives. Some examples we have already discussed in the previous module, where we talked about the learning paradigms and algorithm classes. One of those examples were self-driving cars. Self-driving cars might not be one of the use cases that you are already experiencing yourself, but it is a very exciting application to follow. So what role does machine learning play in self-driving cars? Let us first look at what a car needs to be able to do in order to drive on its own. As with us humans, the car needs to possess some kind of sensory system that is able to perceive its surroundings. After all, the car has to know where it's driving towards. For this reason, the cars are equipped with many cameras and distance sensors, but this itself is not machine learning. Machine learning comes into play after this data is being captured. Sophisticated models use the camera input to identify objects such as other cars, passengers, animals, or other obstacles. Furthermore, they will identify all necessary road signs, traffic lights, different lanes, and, of course, the road itself. Based on the observed situation, the models will then decide on further actions such as turning left or right, braking, accelerating, and so on. As we are already at the topic of cars, we can talk about the next application as well, traffic alerts. Whenever Google Maps tells you about which route is the fastest to take, or it might come to delays and other alerts, it is most likely using machine learning to support those insights. This is a bit less fancy than self-driving cars, but this you have probably already used multiple times. The app uses a combination of available data, which is collected by the people that are using the app at that moment, some complex algorithms and machine learning models. In this case, the models help the app to predict future states of the traffic and where potential delays or traffic jams could happen. Based on this information, the app can then take corrective measures for a best possible travel experience of yours. A very related use case to this is the calculation of the estimated time of arrival as it is used by Uber, for example, where they use machine learning models on top of personalized data and other collected information to provide better estimates. But traffic and related use cases are not the only field of application that you were already using. When was the last time you've ordered products in an online store such as Amazon? Or watched a movie on Netflix or other streaming sites? Have you ever wondered how the shop or the app knows what movie you might like or what product could fit you? This is where machine learning plays a very important role. Based on the application, the model will use data collected from past data of yours, such as already bought products or movies, or data from other customers that show a similar pattern to your preferences. Machine learning models are then able to rank other available products of the company in terms of how well they fit you or how likely you are to buy or watch the product. Another example for recommendations that use machine learning to provide a better user experience are music streaming apps such as Spotify. Very similar to the previous use case of online shops and movie streaming sites, they use machine learning to recommend you individual songs, albums or even full playlists that match your preferred style of music. On that note, have you ever used Alexa or Google Home to play your favorite Spotify playlist? Well, in that case you also need machine learning models, but not for the recommendation of songs, of course. Any virtual assistant of modern smartphones or smart home devices are able to understand what you are saying, not only the text itself, but also the meaning behind it. This is possible due to complex machine learning methods in the areas of natural language understanding and natural language processing. While this might not be the perfect representation of how we humans are understanding natural language, it already works really well and is of great support for many users. You want to play your favorite song? Or do you want to set up an alarm or a timer? You can tell your smartphone to call your mother or ask it about some Lord of the Rings trivia. Coming back to the topic of traffic, in some cases you can even ask your car to navigate to your, you to your desired location. Understanding language, however, is only one part of the possible applications in the context of natural language. Modern translation and spell checking tools also make use of complex machine learning methods to improve the performance. This way, apps such as Grammarly are helping out students and professionals of any kind to make sure that they are making as little mistakes as possible. 
This is, for example, also very helpful when it comes to writing scripts for an online course. We talked about a set of different applications that are very useful for our everyday lives, but similar to how diverse the landscape of machine learning methods is, this only shows a fraction of what they are used for nowadays. Especially, especially in science and other research domains, machine learning has established itself as a very helpful tool to achieve new insights and progress. In medicine, for instance, machine learning has already been used for quite some years to, atten to identify cancer on x-rays. In this case, the models are even able to identify tumors before any well-trained doctor would be able to. Thus, machine learning is not only a great way to enhance our user experience for listening to music or driving cars, it is an invention that supports our society to further progress in many different areas, and in some of them, even save lives.